Hello. Mary. Hi, yes. Jordan. Mary, hi, it's Miriam. Hi, Miriam. Hi. And I'm Julius. Julius. Hello. Julius isn't on 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 these things very much. Hi, hi, Julius. I I can just see your um your lips and your and your nostrils. There we go. Hi. Mary, we just wanted to thank you so much for for taking time to to see us on a Sunday night. I know it's I know it's um an unusual time, but but we really appreciate it. It really is. Unusual is a, the perfect word for it, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Well, thank you for joining me and it's very nice to meet you. There we go. Now I can see, is it Julius? Is that right? Yes, Julius. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, signing up, as they say, signing on and signing up. to Julius, do stop. Signing on to the... You're just sorry. going a little too far. Okay. How's there. that? That, that's great. I can see you both just perfectly. Yep. I don't do this a lot, so I'm just. I love your glasses, Mary. I love oh, your glasses. Thank you. thank you. I do get a little bit of a glare from the um, oh. screen, but they're they're those glare reducing ones, so they actually block out some of the glare as well. So you get the glare, but I don't get the glare. So beautiful that... color on our end. They look a little salmon. Is the color salmon? Sure. Hmm. Nothing. Uh, did you say why is that important? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you were you were sort of just questioning what why would we talk about the specific colors? You were sort of wondering about the specificity there. Is that right? Uh, well, maybe just the color at all. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Mary, well, I, I got. Oh. Okay. I go guess ahead. The, I guess I should tell you, I think Julius is a little um, ornery right now because uh, we're missing the Golden Globes, so. Oh, yes, are they doing that, that now? They're on tonight and we will watch them after, it's fine. Mm. Okay, so the Golden Globes is very important to you, Julius. Not to me, oh yes, sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just want, don't wanna have it ruined and I feel like I'm gonna go on Instagram and people are gonna post about it. And then just all of it is gonna be like, what is even the point then of watching it at all? If I already know who's won and who's lost and- Just don't go on Instagram. Oh. You know, that's hard for me. Hmm. Just, I'm just taking a quick note here. Maybe it would be best if I just talked a little bit about what I do, because sometimes people wonder, uh, life coaching. What is that? You know, and and sometimes people think Wait, that say again, say again. Life coaching. Life coaching. Coaching for life. Yes, it's a little it's bit different than just regular old couples therapy. You know, which which is great, and a lot of people do enroll in 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 couples therapy. But what I do is a little bit different because what we're doing is kind of looking at us all as individuals and our lives, and then coaching those individual lives towards each other in a mutual understanding of that individuality. Sounds great. It sounds really great. So I'll just tell you, you know, my name is Mary Wolf. I work with couples all the time. That's sort of my specialty when it comes to life coaching. And I, I just like to start by telling you a little bit about some of the objects that I keep close to me during these sessions. And then if you're interested and you find anything near you that is a meaningful object, you can you can show me that and tell me about that. You know, we'll take turns sort of just as a, as an introduction. Okay. So this one here is my stone here. And I, I gave it a name Reeser, and I don't know why. The name just came to me like almost like a stone hitting me in the head. Um, Ray, I, racer? Ray. Racer? Racer. Racer. I don't know where that came from, but it, you know, I, I sometimes think, hmm, you know, it's got these little tiny irregularities in it. If you can see it really close, I'll just try to put it closer up to the thing. 
that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And then it's, it's a really interesting wonderful. shape. Is it travertine? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about rocks, but I like this one. It reminds me of like a moose's toenail or something. And <laughs> I think to myself, well, you know, I like Reese's pieces. Is that why I named it Reese? And then I'll also show you my my stick here. And I like this one because also a very complicated stick. This is a piece, a piece of um beech beech wood. You know, it almost looks like OSHA root. Hmm. I don't know what that is. What now what is OSHA? Because I only know about, you know, what the the restaurants have to do to keep keep people safe from. I don't know much about it, but um, it's really good for your respiratory system, and and you can just um, you just bite off a little piece, and it almost tastes um. Oh, I'd ha- I'd say it has a a licorice taste to it, um, and it just can you know just, uh, at least for me, I I take a I take a little bite, and it just um, you know, whew, open whew, opens up my lungs. It's it's a really, but I, I think you, I I don't think that's it. Oh, no. I shouldn't. Okay. I, I don't know that much about about wo- about root. Oh. Well, it root. does have a very sweet smell. Hmm. But I don't know if that's just because I keep it near my. Yeah, I'd hate to have you get. I'd hate to have you get sick. Please. Right. I won't lick it. Um, Miriam, that's that's an unusual name. Do you want to yes. talk mm. about that name? Well. Um, I, I, I don't actually know much about it. Um, I was adopted and... Um, I'll be back, keep going. Well, I'll be right back. I'll be I think back. it's helpful if we're both here okay. for the whole session. Okay. Anyway, just um, oh. it's Miriam, Miriam, um, it, it is a man's name. Um, a lot of people think it's, the, it's a woman's name, um, but it is... It, well, it's both. It is it could be a man's name or a woman's name, but the spelling is a little different. Miriam, Miriam, M E R R I A M, mm. um, as opposed to M um, A M I R I A M. Um, it's but, the dictionary. It's the dictionary. Yes, yes, like like the dictionary. Miriam, like the dictionary. Miriam Webster. Mm-hmm. Okay, so do you, did you get some objects? near you that mean a lot? Uh, well, he has wine. No, I guess. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I don't know if you're accustomed to your clients drinking during your sessions, Mary. Why is that even a question? I, I just... Are you trying to get me in trouble or something? What is the... No, it, it, this is just the first time we're meeting Mary. It just seems, you know, like uh, you're treating this like a, I don't know, a, a get together. I feel like if it's a problem, Mary will tell me. What is, I don't, why, why is it a problem for you? It's, it's not a problem for me. It's not a, I mean, Mary, Mary, is it a problem for you? No, no, it's not. Okay. Nope. Okay. Nope. Great. Then it's not a problem for me. It's not a problem for me. <clears throat> That's good. That's good. I'm glad we just got that out there right away. Just, you know. Mm-hmm. If it's not a problem, or if it is a problem, or is, if it isn't, wait. we're going to talk about it here, right? Or if it is. But it's not. Either one. No, it's, it's, not, a pro- it's not a problem for me. Mm-hmm. It's not a problem for me, Eric. So we're, th- we're three for three. Yeah, it's not a problem for me. No. Great, great. Okay. I'm glad. No problems. So, you know, I also, you know, I talked about some objects that I have around me. And, and if you want to take a little time to sort of think about something meaningful, that would be great. But you also, if you have questions about what, what pandemic life coaching is, you know, which who doesn't, feel free to ask that as well. I guess I'm, I'm, I, I'm feeling a little embarrassed because um, I didn't bring an object. And I'm, I'm wondering if I missed a part of the email Uh, No, nope, nope. It's really just sort of, it's a prompt, if you will, to just notice or even think. And if you don't see one near you or you don't have one, you could even remember back to your childhood, an object that was meaningful, you know, it's just something to think about. 
if it comes to you and if it doesn't come to you we'll just dive in with some other things okay i want to hear about you and and who you are and what brought you to me i mean i just feel like why objects is my i don't know i just feel like it feels like um we're just stuff i feel like i don't want to just be fucking stuff are we stuff um are we our stuff that is a good question. I'm glad we're diving into this because are we just our stuff or is our stuff just just? Mary, I, I feel like I, I guess I want to give a, just a little bit of, of context maybe for, for where we're coming from. Um, uh, right around the new year, we, we decided that we would um, really try to um, I guess regulate or um, maybe curb the um, amount of the amount of objects that we were that we were acquiring and and bringing into our home, um, and 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 I guess I guess purchasing too. You know, just um, I had listened to a, a podcast about um, a, a woman who had done this. Uh, decided to get rid of um, an object for every day of the year in, in 2019. Anyway, that's the, beside the point, but but we're, I guess there's some, we've been doing some thinking about um, objects and things in our lives. And we're just trying to be more conscientious of, of that, I, 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 I would say. So, I only say that because I, I mean, I don't mean to speak for, for Julius, but I, I think maybe that's where um, if you were detecting any kind of antagonism in his tone, uh, maybe that's. I mean, I think he's like, let's be more conscientious. And I'm like, let's just get the fucking shit out of here. You know, just like mm. Mm. throw this shit away. Like who fucking needs any shit? Who fucking needs anything? Well, you need a few objects for your life, you know. I mean, mm. you're barely. Well, you're using an object right now. I mean, a couple. I mean, if it's actually, here, I'll use it. If it's here, I'll use it. But I just feel like, who the fuck? Like, what? I don't know. Well, let's what? talk about the wine. You know, what what would you drink the wine out of if you had no glass? Probably the bottle. Or like the cask. The what? The cask. Do you have cask. a cask? Yeah. Do you have a cask? A cask at your home? No, I think I mean in a cellar or you have a cellar full of casks or well, just it's not full. Sorry, what? It's not full. So you have a cask? What in cask? Just I mean, right now I have uh, bottles and glasses. Uh-huh. So you don't currently own a cask of wine, but you're saying if you have a glass, you'd drink from the cask yeah. just record so you don't that. want objects but now you want a cask you want a, a i don't need to get into the details here i'm just noticing that cask and glass rhyme but they're very different from each other and i think sometimes we are indeed our objects because just like the two of you there's something about you that rhymes. There's something about you that goes together. And yet at the same time, very different. And how do we lean into those differences and appreciate them? I literally leaned in when I said that. Go ahead. Well, I, I, I guess I, I guess the rhyming, you know, the, the words you chose to rhyme and the and then the rhyming metaphor for our relationship, uh, it, it struck a chord in me, I guess. I mean, because I would say that cask and glass sort of rhyme, but not quite. That there's, you know, sure that there's the ass, ass sound, but you know, one ends in, a, in an S and one ends in an 
SK. So all that is to say, um, sometimes I feel that way with, Ju with Julius, that the... Am I the ass or the ask? I'm, it's, it, it doesn't matter which one of us is which. I mean, it matters just, a little, am I the ass? It just, I didn't mean to imply that, I, I'm just saying that it's, it, you know, when you read a poem and there's like a, an imperfect ass. rhyme. An ass. Sure, when there's an ass um, and an ask. <laughs> is that me? There's an ass uh -huh. and there's an ask. And mm. Um, mm. I'll be the ask. Well, I think. What? Oh, what? Oh, Julius, that's a really, really good idea. What would you ask Miriam if you were to ask Miriam something right now? Uh, right now, I would ask, like, what are we talking about? Why are we talking about uh, if ass and ask rhyme? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think this is the thing, right? Like, we're just like details. We're just like all these mm. things. Right. All of the right. like, uh, how does that work? What is this? How do you drive the car? How do you get to the place that we're going? What time are we supposed to be there? What should we have for dinner? You know, it's just like, oh, we have to deal with details and details and details. And mm. I'm just like, let's just get rid of all that. Just like throw out the details with the objects, right? Like, what if we just didn't have all those details? Well, I don't know. What if, what if we didn't have all of those details? Yeah. If it was like, what are we going to have for dinner? I don't know. Go down to the basement, get a cask, whatever. He, d he does keep me on my toes. He's a very radical thinker, Mary. Mm. And, and what about you, Miriam? If, if we didn't have any details, what about you? I, I, I tend to like details. I mean, as you can see from the embroidery, well, I don't know if you can see, but this is a special shirt, I guess. Um, there's some embroidery on it of the, um, the astrological signs um, and their corresponding um, constellations. All I'm saying is that details, I, I feel that details um, are the, Spice of life, for lack of a better phrase. I mean, otherwise, otherwise, why, 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 anything? Exactly. Why, 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 anything? Mm hmm. Exactly. So then you have to ask it. You got to ask yourself, why, why, anything? Are you a musician, Jules? Am I a musician? I mean, mm -hmm. I don't get paid, but I do like to fancy myself a bit of a lyricist. I would say lyricist, I think is the mm -hmm. I don't like play anything. Or... Why don't you share some of your um, latest lyrics? I mean, this is a perfect opportunity. I mean, Mary's kind of a, a cold audience. You know, maybe she'll be able to give you some, some, some feedback since clearly I can't. Oh, you can't? I wish you couldn't. Well, I, I will say that um, I, like I said before, I look at the whole individual and I work with many artists. So I consider your artistic interest a, a very big part of who you are. So go for it, please. I mean, I've been working on something. It's like, um, you know, it's like the pandemic and I just feel like how else are we gonna, how else are we gonna get through it? So I don't have it totally worked out yet, but it's like, um, it's like, um, I mean, the hard thing is pandemic is hard to rhyme. No, so I rhyme it a lot with medic, but it feels like that's like too much. Um, a little like, on the nose, I'd like, say. It's like pandemic. Why did you start pandemic? When will you end? I don't like this whole pandemic. I wish I was a pandemic medic. Pandemic. Why did you start pandemic? 
when will you end? Well, one of the most interesting things about this is that actually medic and pandemic are much further reach of a rhyme than ass and ass. Oh, you're, criti you're uh, critiquing them. Well, I just, I think it's interesting that, that you chose such a tough word. So uh, that's really what I'm saying is that you chose this tough word that not only has a tough meaning for us all, but is also very hard to rhyme with. So let's, let's talk about that. I think that's a good point, Mary. I mean, I like a challenge, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like, why take things easy? Why do things easy? You know? Mm -hmm. It's like, that's just what, what we're supposed to be doing, right? We're just supposed to be taking it easy. We're just supposed to like watch TV and turn off our brains and like- have Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Our... Literally in the last five minutes, you've gone from why, why do anything to why do anything easy? Make it hard. What, yeah. which is it? Maybe that's an answer. Maybe it's an answer. Why, why no, do anything? No, which is it? Why, why do anything to make it hard? So it feels like details make things harder, but not in the way that you want things to be hard. Is that right? You want things to be hard, like literally an uphill battle. And maybe what Miriam is looking for is some slight complications to the plan, questions that need to be answered. Is that an accurate yeah. trail? Miriam is always looking for slight complications to the plan that is. Well, that is or special. clarifications even, you know, on the other side of a complication is a clarification. It's a two-sided thing, really. Hold on, can I? You can rhyme, by the way, I'm just gonna clarification, complication, clarification, complication. I'm just saying that I, I don't wanna make things hard just for the sake of making things hard. I Wait, mean, isn't life of hard enough already? The other side of a complication mm -hmm. is a what? A clarification. Clarification. I hope you credit Mary if you end up using that in one of your songs that it opened. No, there's artists. I just life, I draw, I draw from life. Good question. 